Right, hello all. Uh, welcome to another episode of Geo Catching. Uh, this time we've got, well, Strain, he's the one that introduced me to Geo Catching. We've got Kean back. Uh, I don't know how much longer far. Apparently, there's going to be someone else joining us that's going to be kidnapped or transformed. So, um, yeah, but just, just down, it, down at the b and Waterfront in Dundee and we're just going to plan where we're going to go for our uh, geocaching for the next episode. So, got any ideas? What was it up your way? Uh, uh, Lynn, Lynn Lawton, is it? Lynn, Lynn Lawton Park or something? Yeah, up your country? Right. Yeah. Right. yeah, I'm going to go up there. Um, There's quite a few across the city, but yeah, I'll have to yeah. decide which ones we're going for this day. Yeah, just to see what we've got, what we've decided to do. Yeah. Oh well, um, so we'll get the, the app opened up, well we strange got it in his phone because uh, you're actually doing it like and just yeah. more show my viewers what geocaching is about What's prior to that I didn't know what geocaching was uh, for anybody else that doesn't know what it's about then this is the video will hopefully help to explain a bit more about geocaching so right let's go and uh, make ways to our first place for geocaching <laughs> let's chat on as we say <laughs> Right, so we're just going to um, set off from the V&A, uh, which is at Dundee's Waterfront. Uh, and we're going to head up towards uh, Linlathen Park, which is just at the foot of Fintry, housing scheme, which is on the north, um, north edge of Dundee city. So, uh, strange... He left a minute ago. It took me a minute just to set this up. Um, make sure it's recording. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll pause this, but it's just boring. So it's a one way. It's a one way loop round. So we've got to follow the one way system to get round to where we're going. So it's just uh, just leaving Dundee's waterfront. That's where we're rendezvoused. Um, we were just sort of meeting there first to uh, decide what we're going to do, just to plan where, uh, where we go for our geocaching. So I'm just heading along towards uh, Dock Street. So I've just been pausing the boarding bits obviously, like getting stuck in traffic lights, so there's no point now. So I just uh, do that way. So I'm um, so just continuing along Dock Street. So it's a wee bit earlier this time compared to the last one I've done. The last year catch and it was uh, in the small hours. It was like one, half one, two o'clock, right up to three o'clock in the morning. Well, that was after the shift. But today it's a bit earlier. If day off a day, so uh, it's quarter to night in the evening, so it's a wee bit earlier, this is early for us, like, it's early for me, <laughs> normally I work till midnight anyway, so um, I thought I'd get a bit earlier. <coughs> I missed the sunset because it was a nice day today, but couldn't get out in time for the, uh, you know, for filming the sunset. It was really good actually. It was a nice day all day. Yeah, blue sky, not cloud blue sky. So I was just passing the uh, Nias on the right. Uh, and there's big oil tanks for the Nias gas refinery. Nias gas and oil refinery on the right. And that's the Nias gas and oil refinery tanks on the left there. The storage tanks. No wonder that the uh, structure that went under was the bridges. The back of the bridges. It was actually the pipes going over the top of the road. It's been fed from the refinery into the storage tanks. Um. Now it's a wee bit funnier this episode. It's a little bit of uh, like a sort of fancy dress as well. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, uh, Kane's got his uh, the uh, fancy dress thing, like uh, costume, and uh, see, I don't really do fancy dress as such. I do it simple. I have an easy one, like I just put on a 
put on a wig, that does it for me, like, you know, I didn't go and do much more than that. I never really went for putting on masks or anything like that, you know, fancy dress masks, that's a bit. I don't find it comfortable. It's just put an easy thing on, you know, just throw a wig on, that'll do it. <laughs> that's me, the fancy dress, like. Right? So I'm just on it, just as a bit of a laugh, I suppose, just gonna add that on. Uh, I was asked, uh, Not by the not by the two that are geocaching, but uh, I was asked by somebody else, someone else's. So, uh, so I'll wake up, might as well. Someone else. Um, could ask you went up there too, doesn't it? Well, a little Douglas Wood. Douglas. So yeah, that's where the geocaching is uh, about. If you saw the first. Video that I put up, um, give you a much clearer idea as to what it's about. This is just another episode, another video that I'm going to put up regarding it. Uh, in the last video I put up regarding geocaching, I, I says, um, I, know I titled it, If anybody's doing geocaching, well, obviously, if they know what it is and they're doing geocaching, then uh, don't watch my video because. I, uh, I video where I find the geocaching, so I don't want to spoil it, so I'm just sort of like warning, warning you, if anybody's watching that's doing geocaching, you might not want to watch this because the ones that I find, the ones that we find, I video on my video, you know, the whole area where I found it, log it in, well, I, you know, just from a video, I not actually, I don't have the app for the geo app, the geocaching. I don't have the app for it. Um, but yeah, stream does. Uh, but I'm just logging it in from the uh, you know, to show you my geocaching. I don't want to make this video too long. So I just turned right to uh, Linlathen Park. There's a Finlathen Park or Linlathen, I can't remember. It's either Finlathen Park or Linlathen Park. So maybe got them names mixed up. But I do know it's right in front of the, it's at the foot of Fintry House and Scheme. It's a big grass area. The Dichthy Burton runs through it. Um, I think it's Linlathen Park. Finlathen, Linlathen. I think I would know it. Well, I do know Dundee well because I lived here all my life, but the names are not a great many names, of course, unfortunately. So, I'll let you know how we get on when we get there. And I'll just put this there. In Strange Car uh, at the moment, just going to show you on his app phone, phone app, where we're headed. So the geocache, geocache that is just Got a few. I think we're headed for. Is it? Just is it this one? But, um, I think so. Finlathen, is it? Linlathen, Finlathen Park, isn't it? Well, that's what you'd said, but uh, here's the a hint. hint from the geo. Catching up. Look down at the metal fence. So there's another <laughs> one with a fence in it. Oh, this is my favourite. This is it. <laughs> so, I'm in uh, Strange Car. So I've got a break from driving. It's unusual because normally I'm doing the driving. Uh, so I put my multi phone mount up there. And. Oh, windscreen. Yeah, <laughs> this is a, a what? Ford Courier? Ford Grand Tourer. How did I always get that wrong? It's Grand Tourer. There is a Courier version. Always get that model as car mixed up. Oh. But anyway, we're, we're at the um, Stone Throw away from Finlathen Park. Is it Finlathen Park again? No, is it Linlathen Park? I'll get them mixed up. Finlathen, Linlathen. It's on the Dighty Burn. It's Finlathen. Finlathen. Yeah, Finlathen. I knew the Dighty Burn went through it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't mind it. I get them mixed up. Linlathen's a housing scheme, I know that. But I couldn't mind it was Linlathen. But it's actually between Fintry, the front of Fintry. And Lynn Lathen, so your on that side, you've got the park in between it, and then they've got Lynn Lathen housing scheme. That's right, yeah. So uh, they've kind of like Fintry and Lynn Lathen, like Finn Lathen. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. The park. Finn Lathen. So, Funnily enough. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like what it would be for, I reckon. Yeah. So we're going to go there uh, and see if we could find the Geocast. So I'll let you know. We've got another follow up on the route as well. 
Yep, so I was just changing the camera position to get a wee bit of the road as well. Now it'll be all over the place, because I won't invert it. I'd normally invert the videos on the in-car series, like when yeah. driving on the right, the, well, driving, it appears that I'm driving on the, like in an American car, oh, because I haven't inverted it. That would look like that I'm doing the driving on this one, or vice versa, <laughs> like we're driving on the other side. Yeah. But it's just, that I'm not going to flip the thing on that, I'm just going to leave it. It's for ease of uh, editing, really. Yeah. So, um, just leaving the Iceland car park at Mid Craigie. So Mid Craigie's to the left of uh, the Martin Park. Uh, to the east of it, if you like. So not Finchway's the north of Finn Lathan Park. Lynn Lathan's south of it. Mid Craigie is on the easter side of it. And on the, the west side will be towards Miller Mains and also the Caird Park. So Driving the 21, uh, 23 route through Woodside, and there's an old, uh, there's an old vintage car, um, and it was parked amongst the uh, lodging cars, and it looks so small. But in its day, that car was, you know, a medium-sized car. Right. Um, but the cars have definitely got a lot bigger, bulkier as well. Oh yeah. Heavier, bigger, wider. Oh yeah, heavier, bigger, wider, more expensive, more plastics. But there's more room, but it comes at a cost, like everything. So, uh, so this is, to be honest, I can't say, I've been to, like, I've probably been here before, but this area is in, like, I've not been here for God knows how long ago. This is like, nah. I forgot I even existed, this bit of country. Aye. <laughs> and very seldom, down here a lot, I used to, uh, I've been in since I was born, I was five in the 70s, 1975 to 1980. Then I used to come into Finchway in the 80s up to 1986. And then, uh, so, so I know Finchway, I've been certainly in it in Finchway way back many years ago. So we're going to go out now to Finn Laughing Park and try and pinpoint this uh, geocarnage. And Stringen has also got his YouTube channel. He's going to be doing a uh, probably filming this mm -hmm. for his channel and if i remember i'll put the link on the uh description oh. to my video to uh strange video other side of this fence is where it is <laughs> oh so i've got a bit of a bit of hike. yeah <laughs> okay let's see how we get on right, so we're just out going to be to negotiate we're way down to the north of the park we've got this big fence we're obviously not going to climb over that but there is right down there this is just um, oh. <laughs> so um, I'll show you where we're, we're heading off down into that area there, which is towards Finn Laughing Park. So down there is the Dichty Burn, the Dichty Burn, uh, and we've got to be on, presumably we've got to be on this side of the Dichty Burn. There is a bridge that goes over it, if we need to get over a footbridge. So we're it. A fence in from Lathen Park and was just trying to put the head torch on and give a little bit of extra light. So it's a boundary fence, um, but I'm just going to have a look at the. You have another look? Oh, Dazzle. Yep. <laughs> Check your app again. Right. Down at the metal fence. Yeah. Right, right, so it's uh, been pointed there. Let's see you know. I could see if I do that. So it's oh, my coordinates. Oh, you get your finger blocked. Oh, oh, I've got to zoom right out. That's what oh, I right. said. Um, yeah. So 
it says it's there, yeah, it but then when I was there. over there, it says over here. Aye, <laughs> see a block on your screen. No, no, it's not. It's me. <laughs> so that would suggest it's up. Yeah, it's just literally somewhere. over there. Yeah. Well, we'll have yeah. a nosy. Eh? So it says under a fence. Now oh, look at me. So Finlatham Park is quite a big park, but we're only at, uh, well, we're right at the north edge of it, at the foot of Fintry. We're not really in the centre of the park as such, it's just right on the boundary where it meets Fintry. And there is a fence here, but I'm not really uh, having much confidence with this one, because it's a big fence, and, and there's just so many places, you know. Saying that, I did say that the last time when I found it, so I might be, um, well, it's closed peg, I don't think that's it. <laughs> no, there's a yellow, ah, sorry, yellow, I'm going to colour mine a black, black, my glass, there's a blue plastic thing, uh, there's a, a red, I mean, there's, there's all these things that catch your eye, and you think, could that be it, and then it just, you know, bulge your hopes up for the fraction of a second thinking you've spotted something. Um, I'm maybe getting a bit off the beaten track here. I'll check the strewn and see just how far. How many metres did you say it was? And right now, I'm pretty much right on it. So it looks like it's kind of like on the grass. It's like it's kind of... It'll be, well, it says within 10 metres. Ah, yeah. Plus, plus so or minus. So it, if it says, look down, greet that uh, thingy fence. It's in there then. Cause that might be the there. fence as well. Yeah. Within 10 metres, well, well now it's just four, but it's indecisive, really. It's kind of saying it's on the grass, but it'd be a bit of hard one to find. at the metal fence. Yeah. Look down at the metal fence. Down at the metal fence, right. Oops, got the big main beam one. It's when you look down at it. I don't think you go up high, but... Hmm. There's a little there. a few. So, I saw this line on the ground, but... Uh, that's not it. It's just because there's that much, it's like a bit of a broken toy or something. There's that many different bits and pieces lying about, it makes it really hard to, uh, you know, for any geocast to stand out and it's camouflaged them really well, truly. But I just find this quite a vast area and I'm not as confident I'm going to find it. Yeah, it's, it's just because it's such a big area and not really too confident about finding the geocatch here. There's just too much fencing that's, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm giving up too easily. But see there's another fence in there as well. So, take your pick kind of thing. We're on the other side of the fence, there's like a bit of a ledge where it could be uh, resting on. This might be more likely to be here than at the other side. Um, as you can see there's a bit more of a kind of ledge that it could be placed on. Oh, oh God, I made that. It's a bolt end. It looks so like that. Is it a pellet we're looking for? One of these capsule things? I think so, yeah. Probably be metallic then. It might be... Uh, so Magnetically, one. yeah, that's a bolt. So it makes you caught up with that. Oh god, I mean, it's a bit of glass to be reflected. You know, that's another thing. It's uh, uh -huh. now there is a fence over here as well. So maybe have a good look over here. Uh, was left of it. It looks like a capsule. So I don't know, I don't know, but it looks like it may have been, and also a bit wary about picking things up that I'm not familiar with, but it looks like it might have been your typical geocast kind of capsule. But there's nothing in it, so it might have been, uh, you know, broken right or, point, you know? yeah, or uh, discarded, rather. Mm. But it was just lying there, you know, like that. Uh, you see how well a blender in it is, it blends with the stones, oh, okay, you know. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that was it or not, but I don't really like the idea of running my finger across there. Yeah. yeah, it's like the sort of what you would put something in. 
for uh, you know for your geocast message. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, first we, might, we might be failing on this one. Um, yeah, I mean it's a big area. I don't think we're going to get this one. Uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to just call this one uh, a failure because of the sheer size of the fence. There's too many bits of glass, plastic, and everything lying about there, so it's not worth the effort. I think we all agree we're just going to give up on that particular find. Aye, so uh, Stroon's just putting down, he's just writing that in and then you that up. Yeah. Just tell him that it's... Did not find, no sign of a car, so I tried for over half an hour with three people, oh well. Yeah, I did give it a shot, but it was difficult, we didn't. Yeah. It's, uh, it's too much stuff there to... Uh, too much camouflage. Uh, could be anyway, and I don't fancy running my fingers over the... You know, underneath the, the ledge or the lip of the fence, it could be glass. And you don't, oh, right. be, there could be anything there, you just don't know. Yeah. You've got to be really careful when you're on, it's not worth it. I've got gloves on or anything. It's not worth it for a deal cut. So we're just kind of going to pass on this one. But we'll have a look and see what else we could look at. I'm going to go to try out the Finn Warren place. Uh, again, uh, the most recent ones did not find. Someone's yeah. took it. But as I say, we'll try. And the hint there was just Finn Horn Place, which is great. <laughs> so, I, well, I, what I get from that is it could be on the, the road sign, anyway. which is Finn Horn Place. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Oh, it might be, yeah, on the sign. Because if. Yeah, on the well, that, that's, that's a good point, actually, yeah. Because it's got Finn Horn Place, and you would, uh -huh. there's, uh, you, you've got street signs there. Uh, what's so the, the street name? The, the, the pole that it's on. Yeah. yeah that could be another. Um, another. Uh, clue. So let's have a look and see what we could do with this one, Finhorn, Finhorn Place. So that's it's off. Um, so as I say, I won't edit, I won't flip this video, I'll just leave it as it is for simplicity. It's not an in-car CD so it doesn't really matter if it's showing the wrong polarity or the in inversion. I'm not inverting it, I'm just leaving it as it is. So we're leaving uh, Lath, well, the edge of Finlath and Paro, so right in the north bulk of Finchery. We're going for Finhorn Place. That was a nice big bump. Oh, speed bumps are fucking uh, uh, nightmare, isn't it? I thought there was a car uh, coming down here as well. Uh, coming down. Yeah. Right, oh, this is all bored, it's all positive. So we're just continuing along this uh, road. I think they've, uh, from my knowledge, of speed bumps on Finchery Road. Oh. It's just by sheer coincidence. Well, that that was, on the right there, that's where nurse rights to go. I said it was uh, it? born until 1975 to 1980. Aye. Uh, well, a couple of years, 1977 probably, when it was two or three. 1978 to 1980 would have been there. When it was three, it was five. Uh, yeah, that's still. Castle Place? Oh, yeah, turn up in Castle Place. So. Work away over Fernley Drive. I can't see turn this on the big screen. Ah. That's maybe what I should have done. Up, but good up. What's that? I keep getting. It's because it's the moving camera. The moving camera. This is well, put it in the corner because you've got that pillar there. That ah. shows a bit more of the. Planned by the way, it was as sheer as it was. An odd place. It is Finn Horn, that's good. Uh -huh. So I'll find something to turn around and park. <laughs> yeah. Fun. That's going to be a, a challenge. Oh, not really. Oh, we've got somewhere there. Oh, well, that was a stroke of luck. I can't do that car used to belong to. In Finn Horn Place, and gonna, we're going to check the sign. That was the clue. It was uh, Finn Horn Place, so I reckon it could be the actual. 
in Horn Place site. So we're just walking down towards the entrance of Finhorn Place where it meets um, Finchie Drive. What I find a bit weird, the school's one side is flashing. <laughs> ah, I forgot to turn it off, I think that's what we're... No, this is the oh, yep. Finhorn Place. Place. It's had a bit of a batter in this sign. Yeah, co op rapper. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start oh, so searching the bottom of it. Check the gear. So I'm not putting my hands in that. Is it checked in that one? Mm, I don't really want to. No, <laughs> I don't want it either. This might not be so easy either because yeah. I don't like the idea of being next to someone's property. I don't really want to be messing around looking about at someone's boundary wall because it is kind of like one's private ground issue but it's sort of like that so there's not really much I could really show I don't want to show too much because it is near someone's driveway so we're just going to restrict what in uh, filming ah so we're pinpointing where we are so it looks like it's well, pretty much as here yeah in the middle of the pavement but I don't think it's really, really sneaky like no. all the sign posters are there Ah, well, that's the thing. It's just what I, what I don't like about it is it's so near someone's fence. You right? know what? It may well have been there. There's a bit of tape up there. Well, is it? Look. Oh, let's put the big light on. Oh, come on, Carl. Come on. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, it yeah, might yeah. well have been up there. Yeah, yeah, that looks as much as that. Ah, it's in the tape. Imagine putting it up there, eh? I mean, who's going <laughs> to. Oh, I, might, I mean, that might not Look be. Look at any you shall find. <laughs> It doesn't really feel like nah, much. Yeah, there wouldn't nah, be any there. Nah, it didn't feel like there was anything. The, anyway. the bottom of it's just well. on the underside of the sign. Uh, there was a bit of cell, a bit of tape that it might have been taped to. So, uh, as I say, I'm trying to avoid filming at anybody's property. But I've looked down here, behind the sign, down in the here. Uh, not put my hands or fingers in that. It's not worth it for a dual cross. You don't know what's in there. There isn't any window bottoms. Um, I um, did get a kind of teaser up to that sign uh, with the, the tape. Yeah, we all could check the other one, I suppose. So we're just checking the other uh, sign. Uh, then again, there's another bit of tape here. Ah, oh. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe they've hidden it there. Ah, oh, right. But yeah. it's electrical tape. So. Yeah, yeah. Strange. That's a bit. It's a bit teasing that, but no, it's not there. Just to look for another sign, but then again. The pinpointing was here, so ah, there isn't really much. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it would be anywhere else because, as I say, it's right on there. I'm certainly not going to be searching about touching the boundary fence to someone's private property. Definitely not doing that. So I don't think we're going to find this one either. This could be another uh, failure, but I'm not going to hang about here because it's too near. Uh, you know, private property, and we're not, we're not doing that. Like, we're not going to film around and uh, prod around here uh, for a geocat, it's just, just not worth the you know, not doing that. So, we're just giving up with that one. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna just give this one up. I, sup I suppose it's only a game, really. Just he's gonna write it up uh, the uh, briefing for the up oh, We're just Searched it, but we're not really going to get much more done with that. It's not the best area to be um, um, searching around anyway because, as I say, there's too much uh, people's property around and certainly don't want to be, um, you know, prodding around. That was the, where it was on the app. We did sort of, we were where it said it was supposed to be. It was last found in January oh, and somebody yeah. said in March it was stolen. Oh, it was stolen. Ah. Or somebody's took it, rather. But, yeah. Ah, right. That'll probably That's be the best we can do. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. It's probably, it could be just that not, the people wrong you don't want to. See, look at that. Wrong, yeah. Quick find where I expected it to be. So it probably was. Yeah. Oh, it's hmm. a pellet. All oh, right. One of them. We've got another one of them, yeah. That was like the metal one we found on the hinge. Aye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've found another place we're going to. Uh, hmm. It's. Station to station, that's So, that's looking the, good for us, the last one was an activity found. Yeah, Easy peasy. Uh -huh. 
Uh, ah, so it's this is a photo somebody posted a while ago. Says no luck and wonder where it is or something like that because uh, there's, yeah. there was hazard tape around the box. But this was yeah. December. Yeah, you can see the snow on there as well. Uh, it? Since then, somebody has found it. Yeah, well that's promising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have a look at a wee hint here. Magnetic behind the electricity box VW82. That's a good hint. Yeah, we should find that. I'm gonna make my way down there towards Scott Five Circle. Yeah. Uh oh, I'll not film all this drive because it makes the video too long. I've got to watch the battery on this device as well. So. I'll film once we get there. I'll let you know how we get on. Third time lucky, hopefully. Um, earlier on the day, it was actually, I might have said already, it was at Finch way earlier on for, uh, for other reasons, completely unrelated to this. And when I was there, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if we're going to be going back to Finch way for uh, geocaching. And just by chance, as I said, we ended up there, and we ended up on the exact roads that are for the whole of the city, <laughs> the whole of Dundee, that ended up back in where the very small chance of that happening. Yeah. And I said, I didn't plan on coming here, we didn't discuss it, we just decided when, because nobody here knew that it was there earlier on today, and we just yeah. decided randomly that we were uh, going to be... Aye. Chris said he was busy, he'd meet us later on, we were yeah. like, okay, I met Kay up first, which is right, where will we go? He goes, oh, yeah. somewhere down 50, I was like, okay, fine, let's have a look. Yeah. Lo and behold, there's three of them there. Yeah. So, he's got you're joking me. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't believe it. The, the, cause it was, there wasn't pre planned, it was just by chance um, that we ended up in Fintry again. Well, I did. Again. And I was thinking of that earlier on, the, the, more than the coincidence. I thought I'd mentioned that, but yeah, true. Seriously, I was there earlier today and uh, totally unrelated to the geocaching and ended up back on the very road. Yeah. The very road I was on earlier. Out of all the roads in the whole of Dundee City. <laughs> Incredible. So, just a wee description as to where we are we're just at the top of the Forfer Road where it meets the Dundee to Perth A90 the and we're going to be going left down towards the Scott Fife roundabout once these traffic lights finally decided to change the green What's that diesel roar <laughs> <laughs> the big diesel engine it's, it's, it's not as big as it should be that engine uh, I guess it does the job though it's it does yeah. triangle pill <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it doesn't look like as some of the buses do though <laughs> yeah. we had a couple of buses at my old work that would not go uphill oh yeah because you, you, you've had you been Aye. driving the buses as well <laughs> yeah well the, some of our buses yeah, I drive buses as well don't they? Uh, and buses don't like hills they just don't like hills <laughs> It's all the way. See, the bus engines go up top. It's not so much power, but it's got a lot of torque. <laughs> yeah, they're limited as well. The power and torque are two different things. The power waiting on the bus engine is quite low for its size. It's only two, three hundred. Some cars can be more than that. However, mm -hmm. the torque on a bus engine is much, much, much torquier than a car or any performance sports cars or anything like that. And that's the difference. The bus engines for pulling the loads. Whereas a performance car has got many times, you know, maybe two or three times the horsepower. It's a lighter engine a performance car, and it's more for an energetic, uh, agile. Think of it like this, a performance car could be like an athlete, and a bus and a lorry engine could be like a weightlifter. That might be a way to put it, because there's strength for lifting, for pulling, for torque. These big diesel engines and buses and lorries. The so horsepower's not much, so it's slow. But the torque's going to be there. Um, so performance cars like Porsches, Ferraris, with high power rates, maybe even well, twice maybe, that of a bus or certain lorry engines. But the torque is over a wide uh, rev band, so it's more for energetic, energetic. There's bus engines, truck engines, the torque bands are, uh, the rev bands are a lot lower, smaller. It's more densely packed for torque, so turning force. Found that foot pounds, whatever you want to measure that in new years, so there's another one. So, yeah, but this pounds, yeah, inch <laughs> pounds, inch pounds, yeah, foot pounds, pound feet, whatever. Yeah, uh, you got your new meters, new meters, new meters. So, now this has been a diesel that's got generally more torque than a pedal powder, but what is yours? Seven, six, isn't it? Four, five, so red lines at six, six. Uh, but the pulling on this will be probably between two and four. Because it's diesel, but it's your pedal somewhere as well, actually. Like, the pedals are genuinely higher revving engines than diesels. So. 
Mm. We're just turning left onto the Arbroath Road and up ahead we'll be going towards the Scott Fife. I love the yearly snow the names of the roads. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the app that we're just following. We're going to be taking the slip road here. Oh, we're turning down Green Dykes. Ah, I know Green Dykes, sorry. Craigie Avenue. Craigie Avenue, that's it, Craigie Avenue. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I get to correct yeah. you, you're sat there, fellas! So, we'll take a wee sneaky. Yeah. We're just at the roundabout, we're going away to turn up onto Green Dykes. And at the top of that road is where the Scott Five roundabout is. And you can hear the diesel engine. The diesel engine yeah, yeah, it's just it's <laughs> <laughs> an oil change for Oh, it's needed oil change, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, just park it anywhere here, that's fine. Okay, we'll just we'll just up there, up there a bit. That's the signs. I wonder who you still have Well at the Scott Five round the boat. The first port of call was to find where that metal electrical box is. And that would be the where to start looking. Now I've got a hunch because of that photograph. I think it's up amongst these, uh, amongst the heavy somewhere. I reckon it's up this way somewhere actually. So, I've got my main lights on. I've got my big head torch on. Um, I'm in this grass area now. I'm trying my best not to distract the motorists because it is on a busy circle. Uh, although it's late at night, it's um, still a lot of traffic on the road and I don't want to be distracting them. So I've pinpointed where the box is. It's up there. But it's on the other side, so I'm going to have to... Uh, actually, actually, on the other side, Strun, uh, I found the box. I found the actual... Uh, yeah, oh? Oh, no. Oh, dear. It's, it's on the other side, actually. I was going to uh, Yeah, I, I spotted it. Yeah. yeah. Look who's back. It's G <laughs> Gregor's, Gregor's is back. Oh, God. He's here. To, it's because it's dark now, so he's going to scare off any ghosts or. <laughs> oh, Gregor's coming to help us. What have you done to Kean? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It's getting late and dark and now I need you out there to scare off any anybody that's going to tempt them, causing us harm, you'll scare them off. Right, we found the electrical box, uh, or we found a electrical box, we found an electrical box, whether it's this one, there could be more than one. Ah yeah, yeah there is, there's, I look more square, W, PW82. That's the one. So the geocast. It actually did say in the back on the back of it. Which means <laughs> round the other side is probably. Side, right. yeah. Hello. Oh I see it. Oh you found it? Yeah it is. Oh well spotted. Oh Jeez. well done. Right. So let's so open it up. Brain's <laughs> found it, third time lucky. <laughs> and I think you must I think Greg's presence here must be a good must be bringing good luck to us because uh, the last two attempts he wasn't here, we never found anything. So I can't even put this big head on, so I'm probably dazzling everybody in all the motors to me. So, it looks like it's very tightly packed. It does. Yeah, it's well and true. Oh, there we go. And guess what, I've not got my pen. <laughs> and it's in the car. Oh, wow, look at that, only two people have found it so far. Oh. oh wow. 2022, or 23 or whatever, I can't read that upside down. Yeah. It is that way up. Oh, exactly. So, oh well, we'll get our names on the other box. So, yeah. yeah, well, that's it. So, all three of us are here, uh, and we, I've got, I've got proof that we're here and we found it because that's the Scott Five from us. I've turned that light off because it's pointing right onto the road. So, the lights off the phone, it's not dazzling or distracting any drivers. So, that's the five ways roundabout. Adbroath Road is just on the left there. Uh, up there's towards the Kingsway. That's heading along the Arbroath Road, and this is now looking down towards the Green Dykes Road. And the proof's here that we actually found it. I was behind this electrical box. So I spotted the box when I was up there. I saw that one. I didn't see this one, but I saw that one. And then we walked up 
and then we spotted this other one because there had to be more. Um, and it's right under the lamp post, which could be a good clue as well. So, Stone's just putting it back into the canister, the wee micro canister, mm. and magnetically gets put under the back of this. You would <laughs> never <laughs> see that. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Look at that. You can see it on the video, just how well that's tucked in there. So, so Stone's logging it in on his uh, channel as well. I think it looks like he's uh, enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Ah, first time lucky. <laughs> we needed to luck there. So there's, there's, there's one for the find. <laughs> Good off to Blooming Mill. Censor this video. So there's the sign, Green Dykes Road. It's just dry as well. <laughs> I was talking about dis not distracting motorists. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Gregor here, everybody will like Gregor so everybody be wondering what the heck. <laughs> so anyway, we've got that one logged in. You couldn't tell that was fake. What? If you're walking down the road he just looks like a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how you can tell it's slightly fake though? <laughs> His glasses are steaming up. <laughs> oh god. That's a good point. Oh well, we're just heading down the back to the <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the oil rigs just at the bottom of the where the Dundee docks are. Uh, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a break now and I shall uh, show you what comes up next. <laughs> <laughs> and actually doing a video. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, fancy dress, is it? Uh, well, I've got to do my bit as well. So. <laughs> so I thought I'd do my bit as well and join in the fancy dress. It's just an old wig that I got for uh, the New Year's uh, Halloween and that, so I was asked. So I don't mind doing my bit. Just for a bit of fun. Oh, we haven't even come and actually got here first. So I'll just wait. Okay. So we're. This is down by the park. That's the geocache number. It does say there that it was do not. They did not find in October last year. Just wait, I know. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. This is not. This is terrible. <laughs> I don't stand there. <laughs> I can't get Greg in there, they keep getting me the hungry. It's better if you're there, because uh, it's a point that's so, so. so I've got this character, he's <laughs> getting up to you and what he's doing. We're going up, we're going up, we're going up. We're going up the line. Oh, we got a flight, he comes here there, like. Oh, he's been kidnapped. <laughs> We're looking for a strange kidnapped as well. Body snatched. So, so is Chris Reynolds, so is Kian. <laughs> Amazing the body snatchers. <laughs> no, no. Right, so that's. That was just a matter of a laugh there, so I thought we'd just add it all. But we're going to wait and continue with the geocast. We're going to get some tea and then carry on with the geocast. Let you know how we get on. And that's strange just going down. It's your taxi, <laughs>
<laughs> a taxi. So I was just getting a bit of footage of string up. We're gonna go in this car just to the, the Shell garage there. And then, oh, forgot someone. <laughs> He's lost his hat. <laughs> I'm tripping here. Aye, tripping, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thinking tripping. <laughs> no, I'm tripping over the curb, I mean, actually. I must be tripping. <laughs> right, we're going to be in, uh, in here and then. Uh, so, just to say, we're just in the uh, students. Just, my car's in the, the car park, just up here at the top floor. Instead of both coming in, my car's so just up in uh, the garage, just, uh, just there. That's the most in the car park to the right. Uh, I was just going there for a bite to eat, something out of there, and then head back up to the, up to the car park. Just had something to eat up there, and then decide um, City Key, wasn't it? It was the other one. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's it's a steel car. Ship, I think. The Unicorn, right? Oh, the Unicorn, I, I think it's steel, that. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. That's quite a good area to go, geocache. It's a better area than the Finchy area. Oh, it's yeah, a lot yeah. cleaner. <clears throat> the Finchy area is clean. If you remember the day of the Transformer, we went down to the bit of the docks there, oh, and we saw yeah. a big, massive. Uh, oil rig. Yeah, yeah, that's that right. Was a fair that was, I know where they are, yeah. Right. But it says Fintry's cleaner, I meant the, the ground that we were looking at that, right. but I meant by clean up, not anything else other than that. There was more bits of plastic, that's what I was referring to when it says right. Fintry is that the, the city key is cleaner than Fintry, meaning yeah. that the Fintry ground bit had more plastic, glass. It that's is. what I meant by. You know, not being as clean as the city key. The city key has not as much. <laughs> not as much. I used to stay for the for a good part right, of my life. It's fun for me. So I can't. But no, that's what I meant. Just there's lots of glass and we wouldn't have rounded fingers over any of the broken balls. Because there was a lot of that there at that Finch location over there. But the city key location doesn't have that uh, issue as much. Certainly not the last time that I was in it. The shell garage, and I'll to uh, get a bite to uh, bite to eat. It is getting on a bit now, so it's uh, quarter past 11. So we're back on the geocast catching. Uh, we're just making route to the frigate unicorn down at Dundee City Key. That's just where I'm heading along. So we're at Dundee's unicorn, and the geocast is going to be somewhere about here. So, we just right. got to decide where it is now. Um, yeah, I did have a look at that. So. What's the clues there? What clues have we got? I'll show them yeah, here. So, it looks like it's right next to the bit where you board the boat. Oh, if not yeah. on that thing itself. Yeah. But obviously, it's not quite correct. So, the hint on that one is YSM182. Cash is cylindrical black container about two metres from the water's edge. Especially oh, yeah. when junior sailors take care, there's no barrier preventing prop two swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fancy going for a dip. <laughs> oh, that's the... No, <laughs> that might be the water. Icy cold, but... Would it be here? No, I think it's further back, actually. Uh, this is nearer the front of the ship. Um, no, I think it's... Uh, up this way. Um, yeah. It's further back though. It's actually one o'clock in the morning, so and there's there is houses nearby, so we're going to have to uh, try not to make too much noise. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know, sort of put the head torches on in the direction of the house and distract anybody because it's uh, as you say, it's late. So I think it's going to be about here. Yeah, that's what it says. So I'll put this on and. Uh, Pointed down in the direction of where we think oh, the geocast okay. is. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's, uh, it's a cylindrical thing again, isn't it? Yeah, it right here. Oh, is it? Is it just right at this point then? Is it? Okay, what's that? Oh, God, there's something else. Whatever you do in a trip, <laughs> don't trip in there. Because this is a, uh, what a trip hazard. Um, I don't think they would. Oh, what a fright now, I really did get out. Oh, God, here he comes again. <laughs> Greg has come to join us. I've lost another trip though, for Pete's sake, this is really, really... Could you see what I hate with that one? <laughs> Just don't trip. Is this YS-182? Ah, no. Don't shit yourself. Yeah, so... <laughs> this is the wrong place to be doing that. I think Y182... 
No, I don't think it would be here. Have you found it? No, I just like the looping back here. Yeah, oh. It's sort of like they look really dodgy. Oh. <laughs> nah, I just we're not doing any bone. <laughs> I don't want to drop my phone in there, I'm holding it with one hand. And I, Oh, I right, right, right. Don't you go towards that again? Container. Oh, right, well, this is a container. That's such a trick. Still in the process of finding it, though. Just because there's a lot that's just dropped down there. Oh, Please, so I should definitely be getting questioned. That's for certain. Uh, it seems to be happy with the idea that it's. Pretty much here. Ah, so the apps, what's it? Uh, right, yeah, well, that's the container. Uh, let's see, well, it's that thing there. That's a container we just walked by. Yeah. And these. It seems the thing is that on the ship, but obviously it's not. You tell me the shape of the ship. Well, that's. The, but yeah, it's just okay. after the curve. So that's where the. I'm the clue again, because sometimes it's like that, right? It's about. Hi, About two metres from the water's edge. Well, a cylindrical been. black container. YSM 182. Can we look for that number somewhere? Oh, YSM 182. What's that box? Hi, Gregor. That be a, no. Uh, it was Oops. It was behind it. So I can't. Yeah, I wonder if it's another one of the... Oh, you bugger, I thought that was it there too. That's no, it's a bloody screw thing. Damn, it's the right shape in everything. Are you having a look down there, Gregory? <laughs> Greg's. Right. <clears throat> Never said anything to do with these uh, plant boxes. Oh, no. Well, that's just got the name of the unicorn on it, HMS. What's the standard? Any nails that are on these okay. pallets? Because there's. That's just TNT. Really <laughs> all you need. Uh, Down there, it's just TNT. Then I fancy put my phone over the edge of that because that's just. right into the water. So that's just coming out the back of the ship. You found it? Maybe it's not, but. Oh. That? Oh, that's like a valve. Uh, that thing there, that, that's something to do with the. <laughs> that is a solid just go back. Aye, it is a. I look like these wee bella things are small. I wonder if the really bin's got a number on Well, that's got a number on Did you check that one already? Yeah. No. Oh, maybe a drain cover then. Or a manual cover. Or that's just cover. No, 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 you can't go with that. No, it's covered off anyway. Uh, I wonder... About two metres from the water's edge. Two metres from the water's edge, well that's... Actually not that far from the edge, so... Yeah, I would I'm say... Google what YSM 182 means. If yeah, good idea, yeah, Google it up. Google what that number means and that'll probably... Um, give us more of a clue as to what we're looking for with that number, aren't So I'm looking for anything small and black and cylindrical. Googling that, all that comes up is YM182, which is literally that thing that we just seen, I think. So, uh, I know it says YM. Yeah. If you type up YSM182. Mm. Uh, I know, what the. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm going to check the floors. Well, I'm assuming it's on here. Oh gosh. No, it's the fitness. I've got a normal human being walking towards us now. <laughs> Somebody will recognise. God, where have you been, Keen? Gee, must oh, have been. Did, did you get kidnapped again by Greg? Greg's. <laughs> did you wear uh, like goodness? Yeah, pirate. <laughs> pirate. <laughs> oh, I've got the old 
got the old key in back. He's uh, escaped from Greg. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going to uh, knuckle down now and see if we can actually find this geocast. So we're not going to film it this, but we're going to actually try and find it. Knuckle down and try and find it. And when I do, I'll start filming again. So we've got a. Uh, a captain here joining us, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's come to supervise. <laughs> so let's uh, set about this task and get this geocast, Captain. Greg is asleep. Greg is asleep. Oh. So yeah, I was still searching for this uh, geocast, but I think we're going to need some more clues. Yeah. We're going to need some more clues. I know it's just changed a bit. It's actually a big kind of like a cylindrical tub we're looking for, rather than a small, um, you know, a small uh, cylinder, a small yeah, belt. Like before it's a bigger tub we're looking for. Kind of changes the dynamics. So it's going to be something that should be fairly easy, be in that size. So, I'll go down to it and let's see if we can get it. And the picture suggested it was in a a plant pot. So this is a flower bed identical flower to bed. that. Yeah, and this is what the the clue. So it depends on what time that was taken. Obviously, the plants are more so in there, and that does look like a wooden. It looks like one of these, yeah. I wonder if it's been taken away, it's stolen. Because they would have surely noticed it by now if it was something as big as a tub. But, uh, it's maybe even misplaced. Oh dear, we're not really having much luck with this one. Oh gosh, I thought that was the. I thought that was the post because three dodgy looking characters <laughs> at this time of the night. <coughs> it's not, it's just a taxi. I know, yeah. I think somebody's misplaced it. <laughs> no, it's not so easy this one. Something that big should be noticeable quite easily. Well, it takes a piss more. It was the last person to come here found it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm sure they I think they've missed, they've put it somewhere, like yeah. somewhere else nearby. Uh, it was, I think maybe we should try the plant pots at the front of the ship um, because this looks like it's way off the, way too far back. We're way off the back of the. So maybe worth checking over the, the plant pots down at the front because at that time we were looking for a small sort of capsule rather than a cylindrical tub. Big, a fair sized tub. Like a, no, I'm looking for the wrong sort of spot. This, um, I don't know if this is what it is, but it's something white, and it's that. There's no. What's that picture? Um, what's what's it on the picture? Does it look like this por porcelain thing? Because things can look bigger on a photo or a video than what. And what they are. Uh, That's literally just like a little ashtray, but aye. has it got no a clue on the bottom of it, like numbers? Eh, uh, no, wrong I don't think it does. Because it's YMS 182, yeah. not YSM 182. What's that picture show? Like, what's it just out of interest? There's quite a few, you know, but uh -huh. uh, two, two meters. This is no barrier, though, which is like... Which was it? Eh... Uh, I wonder what that's did. I thought that's another, because that's unusual. I hope it's nothing... Uh, See, somebody's clue was there. there. Which made me think the plant pot's back there, which is exactly where we were. That's quite a good bit further up. I'm not sure anybody in there. That's quite a bit further back. Don't know anybody in. That's what we're looking for. That kind of yeah, and up to the corner. Thing there. You can see the buildings. <coughs> but uh, is there any building there that you could read that says YSM182 on? Yeah, well that building there, that's the building. That building is over there. I know that, but you won't see it in the in the uh, dark but well you can i can see it the fact there it is that's there on my camera so 
the building that we saw there is, is there and it was, the ship was about roughly where we are standing so uh, I'm, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back where I found it yeah. uh, because I thought that was what we were looking for but I was in this uh, plant pot yeah, so it's yeah. Like somebody's trying to take the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a teaser, isn't it? So I'll just put it back where it found it, which is right there. That's where it was. You can see the earth how it was. So I only picked that up there because I thought that was the geocats we were looking for. So it wasn't. So I've, I've just replaced it back where I found it. So I'm going to have a look at some more clues. In fact, we're going to warm up in the uh, strange scar here because uh, it's kind of a bit as cold. No, I was when we were out. We got the police were here. Yeah, <laughs> questioned us. They were fine. Right, folks. We're just well, videoing as well. Videoing for this channel. Oh jeez. We're sitting here to heat up for a few minutes before we go back and try and just one. This is absolutely the longest we've ever been. Jennings Channel to look for something. Oh. Yeah, so I was just saying, we're just uh, be sitting on his channel. But yeah, we were all still talking about having a surprise in the. Please saw what we were doing. We were just wondering what we were doing. <laughs> no blame them. They were fine. They were fine. I was going to say that actually. Yeah, yeah they were actually just... very fair about that. We were yeah, just like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah cool, see you later. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, there were no problems. No, we're not fine. We're just down the last what we're doing. We're if you're honest to them, they'll be, yeah. you know, they'll be fine with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the, the uh, police. Uh, well, the police officer didn't even, one of them didn't even know what it was like, why didn't know what it was until yeah. recently. So we just, is, is it like Pokemon Go? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's just real. <coughs> So oh. I was just informing people what it is on my video and it's doing video as well. Oh. But yeah, they were, they were, they were fine with that, so... <laughs> they appeared uh, out of nowhere though. <laughs> they did, yeah. they came across the street I was like... He says, we've been watching you walking up and down there for the last hour. So I was like, where were you then? Uh, <laughs> you can come and help us there. if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the van up there, because it was obviously we were peeling the park. Oh, did you see the van? Ah, it was parked oh. up there. I just looked up uh, and saw them in you. But it's no problem, some people used to that like you know, the years I've done stuff in the 90s and the 80s and venture out a bit over when I was a kid and days <laughs> out stopped all the time the police were out more then but then oh, well, were more yeah. um, <coughs> quite a, you know we're out to all so I've always been out for a light bit of reading when I was back in the mid 90s you know mates used to hang about at like, like, four in the morning <laughs> well this is half past one in the morning and for 40 48 this year and he's still doing it, <laughs> still walking about in the mid middle of the night and so <laughs> nothing to see like yeah. Yeah, so um, but yeah so we're just warming up and we're gonna start up a bit uh, um do a bit of logistics I suppose you could fancy what go. to describe what we're doing. Like warming Whoa. up for the start of the seat and just thinking what to do if we're gonna go ahead continue on or oh, one maybe more the lampposts might be the number as well uh, well we're gonna have a wee think anyway oh, and then I'll let you know what we've decided to do just looking at the clue there on the photograph there's people in it so I'm not showing that on the light yeah. but the hands the guy showed his hand covered in mud where it was at the plant pot where the soil was suggesting that he'd been digging in to find it the black cylinder cylindrical object it's not the small uh, pellet shaped up small you know the small ones cylinders it's a bigger it's a cylindrical object um it's like a tin or black sort of tin but the suggestion has been digging down a little bit not deep but just you know prod around but to do that i think we should wear a kind of glove or use a an item to prod around because you don't know what's in there like needles or glass or anything like that i don't want to put my hands in there but i think that was just a hint to suggest that we were that's dig down in the soil, so it will be in the plant pots because the, the clue was a, fl a plant pot, a flower pot, and the guy's hand was covered in uh, soil. But I don't know if he actually uh, dug down, it was just like he probably he may have used the, an item to dig, but, but suggesting that digging's involved. So I, so I think now I uh, have an item to just prod around because we'll probably find it that way. Uh, so I even if we've got a stick. Found a stick or something and just use a stick to go through the soil to see if we can come across anything. So I think we're just going through the options. That's one option we should maybe try. This is a clear view of what the object looks like. So it is a black cylinder right off. Not the same small black cylinders that we were finding previously, like the wee sort of pellet shaped things. Yeah. This is a big 
bigger so it's a relatively tin. big yeah, yeah the pictures it? we looked earlier were showing it's almost like a moisturiser tin bottle, yeah that kind of thing. it's white inside so the white bit it's was just kind of through, but no it's been duct taped up with black duct tape oh, and excuse me. plant pot's definitely we have to get yeah, low apparently get low which could be underneath it oh, well nearly dig under Right, okay, oh, so definitely we're not going to talk about this. Yeah. I'm going to give it another go. I don't want to. Maybe yeah, the police will probably give us a hand. I'm going to roll my hopes or whatever. Let's, uh, let's crack on with it. We're back on the mission, armed with more information and two very bright, powerful lights. <laughs> <laughs> my jump start pack. Yes. <laughs> I can start actually start up to a 6 litre petrol or a 3 litre diesel. That's going to be pretty powerful. <laughs> I've got my head torch on and the torch on here as well, and also on the camera. Uh -huh. So, we're not defeated yet, but we're going to give it another good well, shot. Got, to... got a bit more intelligence, intel. <laughs> yep. Imagine it works. Um, but we do want to find this. Yes! I found it! I found it! I can't believe that! I found it! So I soon found the first one, I found this one. What and it is indeed there, I'll show you. What? You wouldn't believe it. Right there. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> what does YSM mean then? I found it. Wee. Oh my god. YSM? What am I YSM. Uh, YSM. YSM. Mm, now, they said something about the. Blue, get low, so maybe the number. Oh. What's that? Oh. What the hell? That's moving. You know what that is? That's just the rocket of the boat. That's why there's wheels on it. It's the it's the, the ship is actually rocking with the the wave, and that's why the wheels are. That's what that noise was. Yeah, <laughs> I got a right fright as well. Yeah, I got a happy fright. Yeah, there. That just dawned on me that that's a moving forward though. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just the movement of the rocking yeah. of the boat. Yeah, I got a bit of a fright when we saw this thing. I turned this off. We got a bit of a. We saw the the bridge there, the walkway moving, but that's just the rocking of the boat. So, but yeah, and chuffed as anything. <laughs> I'll turn this off and show you. Yes. Oh yes. Now, we're here for about an hour and a half. We'll check by the the police. Uh, Freezing, we went back at the car. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait till you know what I found, I found, I found it. She went chuffed at that. But Strain found the first one. Uh, um, Chris, I can't remember the first one. Where was the one before? What was the one you found? Where was that again? I forgot. That yeah, was it the city box. City box at. It's got five round the wall, that's right. Yeah, Strain found that, that one. Oh, it's creepy, isn't it, when you yeah, hear it? Oh, I look at the glitter at the top. <laughs> but eerie, like. What? It's, what's it's, the clue, though? The clue, yeah. Because you said it was sat there. Yeah, it was just, it was just in there, eh? Yeah. Now, that number, well, I don't know, maybe it's uh, it's got to be somewhere. Right? Maybe it's a tyre size. Yeah, like you could see it moving, eh? I wonder if I, like. Jesus. If I sit there. <laughs> Yes, if you maybe you sit there, you might see the number. But I've got it, so we're going to open it and I'll sign the oh, uh, contents. So, um, I'm chuffed. <laughs> so I'll open it up. Uh, I'll maybe open it up in the van, eh? Because it. oh, it's warm, and <laughs> we've got pens. I'll get the pen. Um, I'm sure Keen, and then once I've done all that, we can soon log it in on his app because he's got the app. Um, and then uh, I'll put it back where I found it. So, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, after all that effort, I found it. And then, thing is, you will see the wheel actually moving. You hear it creaking away there. But that is its purpose, it's uh that is really just to compensate for the movement of the rocking of the boat. So we're going away to uh, sign the uh open up the geocarch and uh sign it and just say sooner log it in and once we've done that I'll uh, put it back where I found it so. 
He's seen video on, video on youth for his channel. <laughs> At the same time, I video myself. See, that's one of the bigger caches that we found, and yet it took oh, the longest to find. Put people Get this opened up and have a look inside. So I've opened it up. There's a. Uh, I've just shown that, but if you're doing the uh, geocaching, don't watch this because. <laughs> Well, I'm blurring it. <laughs> blurring it. You're blurring it. I just yeah. blurring it up to watch it if you're doing it. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna maybe add some money, a coin or something to it Gee as well. You know, oh, there's right. this bag of uh, stuff it's as well. Right on it. Yeah, there's like loads of stuff in here already. And for, I can't really do two things at once and hold my phone at the same time as. Well done, so Chris, for finding this one. I'm gonna now check the coordinates of that. Yeah. That's so unbelievable. <laughs> so there's a, it's like a new notepad in here as well. <laughs> that is actually a miniature notepad with the Scottish Scotland the Quest and he say. And then there's all the So we're gonna put the name in there, um other names in here. So get that done, Stuart just logging it in on his actual app. And so, what shall we call you then? Is it Greg, Dave, or Kian? Because we've got all three of us, so we're all involved in this, so we'll put all the names in on it. Yeah, it's just done the 21st. It was actually, well, late, very late Thursday night, 20th of April 2023. But because it's the small hours, it's actually Friday. Um, it's, it's, the time. It's, 20, it's 10 past 2 in the morning, so it is actually technically Friday, the 21st of April 2023. So. I'll mark the date as, I'll just mark it as the 20th, because it was like very late Thursday, even though it's technically Friday, I'll just put it at the 20th, I know that because it's one of my mate's birthdays on the 20th of April, so if you're watching this, happy birthday, <laughs> you know who I'm referring to, um, yep, 20th of April, he'll be 48 this year, so I'll be 48 in a couple of months from then. So we were at the same school class together, so I've known him for a long time. Uh, yeah, so happy birthday to you. Oh, well, it's technically Friday morning, but still, we'll just put it the 28th April. So I'm going to log this in. I've got my pen. Uh, students just logging it into his uh, phone up. And uh, I'll get all, the, do all that, and then um, I'll put it back with the folder once we've done that. I've uh, signed the the uh, little bit up here and also going to add in uh, 10 pence for silver coin I could you can't see any other coins there's one two pence but I'll put the 10 pence <laughs> so I'll show you it's doing that so that's the uh, what I've written down uh so it's Chris Reynolds me 20th of April 2023 also Keen and Strun Jennings and I've written I'm chuffed I found it it was hard to find plus Ten pence. I'm going to deposit in this uh, geo catch. So well, there it goes. Ten pence <laughs> added to it. So now what I'm going to do is still uh, figuring out the um, coordinates that was written inside the uh, lid. And when she's done that, I put this all back together again and put I'll it. I'll take a photo here. I'll just give you back. Yeah, if you want, yeah. And then I'll put it back with the fuck dip. So, there you go. Put it in the lid. And that's fine, I'll go and put it all in the spot. So, here it goes. Oh, just put everything in and I just put the lid back on and screw the lid on. It's time to do two things at once and fill them in there. So, here it goes. And that's it all sealed up the way I found it. All the contents back in. Including a ten, an additional ten pence that I put in, and our, well, I wrote everybody's name in it, so I put my own name with the date, and I added uh, Strange Jennings and Keen. So the uh, it's all been logged in on uh, Strange's app. I'm just trying to get a clear photo of it. For oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get, a, I'll keep that for you. Yeah. Oh, just get a photo of the. Oh, the that come out okay. That's fine. So I'll go and put this back where I found it now. Alright, so I shall turn this back where I found it, which is right in this area here. You can see the marks where it was lying for quite a while, the evidence marks, so I've pushed it back just where I, just where I found it. 
pack of tuck that tape in so I'll see if it's sticking out. I'll put that in there so it doesn't really. And that's it. So like I say, I was really chuffed at finding that. <laughs> so it's good fun actually when you find it. It's not really, you know, when you I was just about very just get up or just getting a bit cold because it is quite cold, it's late, it's like God, it's probably about quarter 20 past two in the morning, so it's time to get home now. Um I am working tomorrow, but I'm working late shifts, so I start at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um so it's not a problem. So I'm gonna just stand here for a minute. Look at that wind. So uh you know, come on, I'm just going to get my, because we're going to have to run the video off, I'll just probably round off in the strange van and then I'll get up the road and back home. So I was quite chuffed to find that anyway. Um, it's good fun. If you're, if you're doing your cat, if you're, well, because it'll be too late now, so there's no much point in saying it. As we say, if you're doing geo, geo catching, you wouldn't want to watch it. I'll put it at the start like a wee sort of, uh, just warning, like, you know, because I disclose where they are. So, this is what it looks like down at the city quay, time in the morning. It's quite a nice place, I feel better now that I've found it, it was successful. That building up there ahead, by the way, is the Apex Hotel. Uh, and it just, you've got a lot of the residential flats on the right there. And the Frigate Unicorn, as you obviously have seen plenty of. The other ship down at the bottom there is the North Car light ship. Um, it's not very, well you won't see it very clearly, but it's uh, that one there. I'll have to get down to it and show you. Uh, maybe during the day sometime we'll do a separate video on some of the boats and that around the bottom here. <coughs> so, that was good. I'll run the video off I think now because we've done quite, well, how many have we done in the total? That's what I'll be here for. Uh, then Finchie, we filled the Finchie one. Finn laughing part, we filled it, didn't get Aye. it. Aye, it was unsuccessful. And the Finn Horn Place one, we didn't find. Finn Horn Place didn't find that one either. The third one was the one I found, which oh, was behind the electric box. The electric one's, box. It's got five. It's got five round box, so we've yeah. done that one. And you found this impossible one. <laughs> <laughs> the unicorn one. So, we've done four altogether. We filled two of them and passed two of them. Uh -huh. Stoon found the third one and I found the, the fourth one. Oh, this will be the final one for tonight, so. Oh, I can trust that. It's like that last time as well, literally about snowing. Oh, we've got somebody <laughs> sleeping there. <laughs> Quite genuinely is as well. Sure it is. <laughs> I've converted this into a camper and it genuinely, well, slightly, and it really is comfortable. It's a baby full mattress topper. Oh, ah, it's sure. really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> we'll just need to get everybody home to their beds now because yeah. it's 20 past two. <laughs> Thank you, home. So, yeah, um, yeah, I'll run the video off now. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, Struan will be putting his up on his channel. Uh, I'll put a link to the um, his video when it's in the description <laughs> at some point. Yeah, whenever I get mine up. If I do put mine up before his, then I'll add a link later on in the description. But I don't think I will. I think I've got a few to go between now and that video on my own channel. And by that time, I think Struan's will have had his edit edit up on his channel so yeah. by the time it comes to putting this on my channel I'll we'll have the like ready for his video that'll be your fourth one I think uh, yeah video. something like that yeah <laughs> so yeah it's good anyway I'll, I'll round it off and I'll uh, catch you later on okay thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the, the little entertainment <laughs> bit of fun we had earlier well go and take sleep and yeah. home <laughs> well, the fancy day, I've been off to start, but I laughed at one of them. He's just sitting yeah, there, he's, he's, he's just sleeping there while I drive him home. <laughs> you can yeah, sit in the seat. there. <laughs> right, okay, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that and had a good laugh. See you later. Bye now. Bye for now.